Hello, today I'll be coding this cube which packs and unpacks itself. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to have a face element and let's set some styles on it. This is going to be the edge length, let's say 8 ms. And now we're going to have on the face element, we're going to give it a width that's equal to that edge length we've set there, um, just 1 L. And it's going to have the same height, so um, height. And let's give it a background, just so that we can see it. Okay, now we can see it. Uh, and it's going to be absolutely positioned. Okay, uh, and now uh, the top um, topmost face is going to have a move class. It's going to be a mover. Um, and then I'm going to have a loop. So um, for i and 0 all the way up to 4 and I keep incrementing i I'm going to have um, a face uh, element with a flip class and for the first of these so um, if not i we're going to have another face and also with a flip class okay um, now moving on here well, okay, uh, now let's set a few different styles for the move and the flip ones. So uh, this one is going to be uh, top 50%, left 50%. Um, not exactly, left 50%, it's going to be calc. Um, minus half the edge length, so 0.5 times L, and here I'm going to have left 50%, uh, I'm going to have a transform origin, which is 0 50%. Uh, now let's also set a box shadow so that we can see the limits. So our box shadow, it's going to be inset. It's going to be 0 for the offsets and for the blur, and 2 pixels for the spread, and it's going to be uh, white. Let's make it like that. Okay, now, just so that we can see stuff better, we're going to set background black on the body. So now here I'm going to set a transform, uh, which is rotate. Um, and here I'm going to have an A custom property, which is 0 degrees by default. And then it's going to have a translate, which is half the edge length. And I'm going to have a loop. So um, for I from 1 to 4, I'm going to have nth child. Um, I plus 1 and here I'm going to set that angle, that custom property uh, to be I times 90 degrees okay so um, I have that uh, now let's also set a uh, transform style preserve 3D on this thing um, and here we're going to uh, set some other styles so first of all, we're going to set, we make, uh, we make the height 100, 100 viewport height units, so it's full height. Um, also, uh, set margin 0, so that uh, we get rid of the um, scroll bar, the vertical scroll bar, and let's set overflow thing. Okay, uh, now let's set perspective, something like 39 ms. So now if on the move I set something like uh, transform, uh, rotate, uh, rotate x actually, uh, 90 degrees. Um, now let's do something about the perspective origin because we want to see this from above a bit 
so it's going to be in the middle horizontally but vertically we're going to um, move it a bit up so that's going to be 50% minus or let's say twice the edge length 2 times L so um, okay now uh, I can collapse this whole thing for the body and I think for the face as well now uh, here I'm not going to use this as transform, I'm going to set this as a position, so it's going to be an initial position custom property, and I'm going to use our transform here uh, for that position, and I'm also going to have a rotate y uh, minus 90 degrees, so I can get my uh, q. So um, in case you're wondering, like this and it's not fully closed so it's 90 when it's fully closed now the next thing that i'm going to do is set a keyframes animation keyframes um this is going to be our flip and i'm going to have two um and it's going to be pretty much the same thing except it's going to be a uh, plus 90 degrees so uh, not minus it's going to be plus um so actually i'm going to need to set something else here uh animation uh it's going to be um flip two seconds uh ease in out uh infinite okay uh and here on the move i'm going to set um animation name to uh, move okay okay so um this looks pretty good and i think this is all for the flipping one now for the move i'm also going to set um animation timing function and this is going to be our uh, linear I'm also going to have another uh, rotation here, uh, a rotate uh, minus 60 degrees, let's say. I think that should work. Okay. Um, and here, actually, I'm, I'm just going to take this from here and copy paste it fully and then just change stuff. Uh, so I'm going to have this uh, and it's going to be our uh, 30 degrees and it's also going to be our uh, translate Z um, L I believe oh uh, and this is not flip this is move sorry okay so um, yeah, it uh, now works. We have uh, our animation. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos, just drop them in the comments below or send them on Twitter. And until next time.